What up, what up, Flimbush here. And today I'm excited to show you guys how to get started using a new node editor with Redshift inside of Cinema 4D. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so we're gonna wanna get started with the new Cinema 4D update that just came out yesterday. You wanna make sure that it's version 21.115. And then also you wanna make sure that you have the latest Redshift build, which if you go to the website, the forums, you'll see it under the experimental 3.0 build. So you click on that and you'll see that it's version 3.0.12. So those are the two versions that you're gonna to need to be able to use the new node system in Redshift. So let me get started with a quick overview on how to get the new node started. So I'm gonna do my layout as a startup. So this is what default Cinema 4D is gonna look like when you open it up. And so the first thing you wanna do is come over here to your edit render settings and under render, of course, we're gonna click on Redshift. And then if you notice in the upper right hand corner, now we have a selection for our node space, which when I switched over to Redshift, watch, when I click it over to standard, you can see that my node space goes to current standard. But when I click it over to Redshift, it's gonna say current Redshift. But what I like to do is I would like to click on this and then make it Redshift anyway just so there's no problems or confusion or anything like that. So I have my render settings at Redshift and I have my node space at Redshift. So normally, whenever we make a material in Redshift, we usually come up to materials, come down to material, make a new material. And if you notice, we still have access to that old way of working. So let me pull this up a little bit. You can see we made a Redshift material and if I double click on it, it's going to the old Expresso shader graph here which is, I mean, if you still wanna work in that, you still have that option, but let me show you how to use the new node system. So now you wanna come down to create in my lower left-hand corner, come over to materials, and then you wanna click on new node material. So when you click on that, now you have an, um, a material here called node, you double click on that, and now you have the material system, and this is all for Redshift. So if you wanna use the new node system, that's basically how you get into it. But there's a cool option too, like if you have a project with the, um, the old Redshift materials, you can actually convert those over to the new Redshift material node editor here. Let me show you how to do that. So um, yeah, just quick and easy. I'll do something with Mega Scans because whenever we export something, it automatically has our materials already laid out for us. So let me go to something I already have downloaded here. Let me see. Um, yeah, we'll just use this tree branch here. So if I click on my tree branch, come down to my export settings, make sure I have my Cinema 4D selected, and then I'm just gonna click export. Export successful, so I can close this out. So now we have our tree branch in here. I can make this a little bit larger. 10 by 10 by 10, there we go. And let me get rid of these other materials down here. We don't really need these, so I'm gonna delete unused materials. And if I double click on my tree branch material, you can see that Mega Scans automatically has everything that we need linked up to our material sections here. And so if we wanna convert this over to the new node system, it's really easy to do. So we make sure we have our material selected, come up to Redshift, come down to materials, come down to, what is it, tools. And you see that we have all these options now and if we come down to here, we see that we have convert the nodes and we also have convert the nodes and replace it. So the difference between these two is if we hit convert to nodes, it's gonna keep our old material in there as well. But if we click convert and replace, it's automatically gonna replace it with the new material that we have. So I'm gonna click on convert the nodes just so we can see what happens down here. So you see my lower left-hand corner. Now I have a new material called node tree branch. And if I double click on that, you can see that our materials are converted over to the new material mode. And so that's just a quick rundown. Basically, like if you have an old project and you wanna start working with this new shader graph here, that's basically how you would do it. It's quick and easy, and I really like this new layout here. So moving forward, I'm probably gonna start using this material node layout a lot more just because it's a lot cleaner than the Expresso one, but of course it's gonna take some time getting used to, but just a quick down dirty way of doing it. If you wanna get started, that's exactly how you get into it.
So hopefully this helped you guys out. You know, just a little quick overview showing you guys how you can get started with the new note editor. I like how sleek and clean it is. I think I'm gonna use it a lot moving forward. So if this does help you out, make sure you leave me a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. You know, it helps your boy out. Leave me a thumbs up, it's always appreciated. And until next time, keep creating. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.